Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I've got my new tent hammock here in the box and we're going to open this up and check it out. Hopefully it's what I can use, what I've been wanting. We'll have to see. Um, so let's get the box open, let's check it out. Okay guys, so I ordered this, as you can see from Amazon, and uh, we're gonna open this up. The knife uh, my friend Ryan gave me. So let's go ahead and open this up. See what all's in here. This thing came quick, it came out of uh, Jacksonville, Florida, I do believe. All right. And here it is. Let me move this out of the way. All right. <clears throat> it's the night cat. Of course, it's made in China, but uh, it's a hammock tent, so you can set it set it out on the ground, or you can hang it in a tree. Now, I'm doing this in the backyard because I was going to do it out in a camp area, but of course, they're all booked up. There's at least three in this area that are uh, free camping. All you gotta do is make a reservation. And all three, the same exact days, are booked up. I don't get it. Well, I do get it, I know what's going on. It's the kayakers, they're, they're reserving the spots. And of course, they're not camping, so that kind of puts a damper on the guys who wanna camp. So, this is gonna be a two-part video. Tonight, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this up in the tent, as the tent, and then we'll, uh, you know, I'll sleep in it. We'll see what it what it's like. See how easy it is to set up. And then tomorrow night we'll do the the hammock part of it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Like I said, it is nightcap. This was I paid like four dollars extra. There'll be a link in the description of this tent, but. To get it camouflaged and it looks like it is so but with shipping tax and the little extra I paid it was like 116 so pretty reasonable of course they've got them cheaper um, but they didn't look that great so they just kind of look cheap you know I mean these things are cheap anyway um, like this, you know, like sell all together is 116 bucks. Is it really worth 116 bucks? I doubt it. Is any tent really worth that? Nah, not my book, but so it's kind of big, but I have to get a bigger backpack anyway. See the night cat. See there's a cat on there. Alright, so but it's not very heavy. I forget what the weight is on it. I'll have to put all that in the description, but um, it's not too much that I can't I can't carry. It's not, it doesn't feel much heavier than the hammock I have now. It's just bigger. So, you know, which I won't have that in, in my pack anymore because I'll be using this okay we've got our guide here uh oh hopefully there's English ones yeah what the package contains one carry bag uh, two aluminum alloy stakes uh, two guy lines two straps 
hammock with mosquito net and buckles uh, one rain fly and aluminum alloy pole two of them okay so it I mean this really gives you know that's pretty good detail there of you know setting it up and everything so but I wanted one because if I decide to hike back in somewhere I don't know if I'm gonna have the trees to hang a hammock or if I take a small tent because I don't want to carry two or if I take a small tent you know there might not be a level enough ground but there's plenty of trees so alright so let's take this out of here okay that might be the rain fly this looks like the main item here There's the poles. Feels like the poles and stakes. Get this untied. Okay, these are the poles. Kind of got a bend to them. Probably because it kind of goes like that across the top okay I'm supposed to have two stakes and straps and stuff so let's keep looking in our stuff here okay got yep I feel straps in here feels like a couple stakes let's open this up all right yep let's get these little stakes here they match the They match the poles and our straps. There's one. There's one. And here's our uh, guy lines. Okay, so that's pretty bright. Like I said, a lot of guys they want to go all camo. I like to have some brightness uh, with me because you know my health conditions and stuff. If I want to be found. I want to be found <laughs> you know what I mean I'm not doing I'm not into the stealth camp and stuff we've been over that I'm not into that um, so I really don't care how stealthy I look I mean I don't want something bright purple pink and yellow you know but I do want something bright if someone you know has to come looking for me you know I'll be able to be seen okay so what I'm gonna do I'm not sure where I'm going to set this up at. I thought about setting it up behind me there. It's nice and flat. Like I said, of course, I'm in my backyard. But also, there's a nice uh, flat spot right over here. Kind of by the shed. There's a couple trees there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, a guy caught a coral snake in front of the houses earlier today. And uh, he said it was the second one he saw this week. And it's it's the venoms one, so you know, red touch yellow. <laughs> uh, so I've got a video clip of him picking it up. Um, and on my last solo, we saw that one out there in the campgrounds. Um, so hopefully, nothing will be coming in to visit me tonight. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Um, kind of you know I kind of like it over there by them trees I'm not sure let me read up on this on this thing I'm gonna read my little pamphlet here uh, you know I'm not that kind that just throws the stuff and then you know have to go read it later and look like an idiot or just throw it to look cool then off camera go read it and then act like see we didn't need that I don't do that I've never sat one of these up like this before. Well, I've never sat one of these up where it's a tent or hammock. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the instructions. So, there's no shame in that. So, um, and then I'll show you how it gets set up. Then we'll go from there. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, so 
I've got my wireless mic on. Hopefully that'll help the wind. So this part is the actual hammock tent. Hammock slash tent itself. So it's got some nice carabiners. 5KN. All right, so we're gonna set this out here. Okay, so it looks like, I'm not sure which one's the front. Let's get it set up, I don't think it matters. But let's get these poles in here. And we're just gonna slide them through. I'll show you more of it here in a minute. It just goes right through here. And you can use it as a regular hammock too. They call it a three in one. The night cat, it's a three in one. Now here, it's got a hole in it. So they want you to put that in there. And this one in here. You're supposed to be able to set it on the ground. Hopefully you can because if you can't, I'm going to have to return it because it's supposed to be a hammock or a ground tent. So now we're just going to. I don't know what you guys are seeing, so. So there's that. Now, now let me see, because the uh, instructions doesn't really tell you anything about how to set it up as a ground tent. It just tells you how to set it up as a hammock. So let me go over the instructions again and see what's going on. See if I can figure something out. Okay guys, so all I did was stake it there and in the back and pulled it really tight. That seems to be okay. Now we're gonna put the fly on. That's where you're supposed to use these pegs is for the fly. I don't know how they're coming up. And the only instructions they give you is how to hang it. So but let's continue on and I'll see if I can figure it out. So now, yeah, they don't, uh, see there's snaps down here that's supposed to snap around your lines. And you're supposed to put a guy line out here and a guy line out there to keep the thing from swinging too much. But as far as a ground tent, yeah, I made it work. But I had to use two of my stakes. Um, I think that's misrepresentation. I'm probably going to get a hold of the company and tell them I want, you know, some partial money off this because this is stupid. I mean, I'll keep it and try it, but if it's indeed also supposed to be a ground tent, then why do they only give you two stakes, you know? 
But anyway, I'm gonna go get my bag. And these things are supposed to hold your flap up. And it's like they're sewn way back in there instead of out here. So you really gotta kinda stretch it to get it to stay there. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see I'll sleep in it tonight and then I'll sleep with it up in the air and we'll see how we like it. But let me go get my sleeping pad and we're gonna stick that in there. All right, let me get in this thing. Okay, so have some string from my sleeping pad here. Now also what I like, I do like that, you know, I don't have to reach clear down there to undo the zippers. I can do them right here and get in and out to where my hammock, I have to reach clear down and zip. Uh, there is hooks in here to hang a light not a lot of room in here laying it down like this but i mean does it work as a tent yeah but if you're a tall guy it's not going to work for you i'm five seven and my head's almost clear up the top and my feet are almost clear down to bottom um i'm just going to have to use it i just don't like misrepping representation like that you know because you know it's a hundred dollars I know some people that's not a lot of money but to me it is a lot of money just to just to camp in something you know I mean our big tent I'm just taking this mic off our big tent was only sixty dollars you know and it's for six people um, see, in the floor, well, what I'm calling the floor, very thin, it's almost like a silk. So it wouldn't take much to put a hole in this thing. One little root you didn't see or something. Um, so, I mean, what am I going to do? Carry a tarp? Now I'm carrying two things that I didn't want to do before. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't want to have to carry several different things. I wanted one thing to do, you know, two different purposes. Yeah, technically, it is a tent. But is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. Because um, it even showed them on the website. It showed it laying straight on the ground. It said, use the boy as a ground tent, too. See, here's the hook. Should be using monkey's camera for this. She's got super wide angle lens. There's the hook. There's one down there. Hanging down there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. But, see, I'm like... You know, here's my head. There's my feet. I'm 5'7". Um, I'm going to sleep in it tonight and uh, see how it goes. We'll talk about it more in the morning and then I'll do another video of using it as a hammock. 
we'll just have to see I don't know I just don't like misrepresentation because if it was supposed to be like this they would have gave me two more tent poles you know or stakes I should say two more tent stakes it's got poles in it um, you know I could probably you know pull it tighter maybe but it just doesn't make sense the way I mean yeah but technically I can set mine up on the ground you know what I mean I mean I like the looks of it I don't know I'll be back with you guys I'm gonna there's some tie outs like there's one up there there's a tie out or tie you're supposed to tie to this pole reach up in there and tie to this pole uh, you know, like if it gets windy or whatever, there's several down through there. Um, let me sleep in it tonight. I'll be back with you guys before I go to sleep. It's hot in here, but I'm in Florida. It's like 80 degrees out. <laughs> so, that ain't got nothing to do with the tent. All right, guys. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be waterproof. It does feel kind of like it's got a waterproof coating on it. So it's supposed to be, so you're not supposed to have to uh, waterproof it like I do all my tents. Um, we'll have to see. I'll have to sleep in it in the rain. But see, that's another thing. This, I can guarantee you, is not going to keep rain out. It's just not going to do it. This, this floor is not going to keep rain out. Uh, I can guarantee you that. So if you got some rain running in under you, you're going to get wet, you know. So I'll probably, if I keep it all waterproof, well, I'm going to keep it. But I just, you know, I will get a hold of them and say, you know, this is not as advertised, you know. This is ridiculous. The guy's got like a 96% uh, rating. So I don't know, or the company or whoever. You know, I, I'm sure it's not just a guy, but I'm going to get a hold of him, and tell him what, what, you know, if it's supposed to be a ground tent, how's come, you know, it doesn't come with two, two extra uh, tent pegs, um, you know, and there's no instructions to set it up on the ground. Because like this here, let me show you the, like, like this has to be, you know, this is a rain fly. It's supposed to be hanging down, but it, I then you got to kind of flip it underneath to get it to go through this thing. You would think there would have been a different way. So here's another tie out here. I don't know. It's just you know I do like the looks of it, but I don't know. I'll be back with you guys before I go to sleep in here. I'm not actually camping, so I'm not going to do any cooking or anything like that. So I'm going to, I'll bring you back on when I'm getting ready to lay down for the night. Um, see, it's like this little baggie here. You know, it's only going to work if it's, you know, set up as a hammock. So, all right, guys, I'll be back with you. Hang tight. And another thing, where am I going to put my pack? You know, I can hang my pack or whatever underneath when it's in a tree but you know I don't know if my pack's going to fit underneath there and then still if I get it under the rain fly it's still going to be sitting right on the ground and I know once I get a bigger pack even with that pack I got to put it in there with me it's going to be kind of I don't know guys it's going to be kind of tight Yeah, see, these are supposed to come around and they snap onto each other. You know, my pack's not going to fit in there. It can fit inside, inside, but with me, but then it's going to kind of be like, you know, so like that, that'll snap under there. Um, So, yeah, we'll just have to see. I mean, I do like it. Let me sleep in it, and if I don't have any problems sleeping in it, you know, I, I can do something with my pack. It's not a deal breaker, but for them to say, 
that it's also a ground tent. Well, if that's the case, really any, you can make any hammock a ground tent. I mean, you just have to make your poles. It's, I don't know. But also we'll see what it's like as a hammock too when I sleep in it as a hammock. Um, I'm kind of, kind of excited about that. So I'll be doing that tomorrow night. Uh, I might just hike back in there anyway. Find me a couple trees back in the camp area. Find me a couple trees and hang it up and give it a shot for the night. Okay guys, so it's about 12.45 right now, a.m. I was in the house watching YouTube videos and I thought, what am I doing? I can watch YouTube out here. The Wi-Fi, I'm right next to the house. <laughs> so, <clears throat> there's a couple things I was rethinking on this that we can talk about, like how I need to carry an extra set of pegs. I really don't. If, because I've seen, I watched some YouTube videos on this. If I would use one, use my straps on the ends, just like as if it was a, a tree, and stake it out back here, then I wouldn't need two pegs. Um, so, that's what I was thinking. Now, these things here, like I said, I don't like these ties. I just, you know, when you're ready to tear down and go home and stuff, and, you know, I'm tying all them. Um, so I watched one that was like two months ago, I watched a video. The guy had a clip that had something like this, only had like a, a plastic clip on it that would clip to these. I like that a lot better. Now, I don't know if they had those and did away with them. Maybe the clips were breaking and they went with those. Or, you know, if this is an older one and they had those and then went with clips, I don't know. But I do like the clips. Maybe even some Velcro. Some Velcro would be nice on them. Um, but the more I'm looking at this thing and I'm starting to like it even more so yeah that makes more sense because the guy put up a picture he didn't show it but he put up a picture of it looked like in the picture when I paused it it looked like they had straps coming out here so that's that's a possibility and then like I said I wouldn't have to then this can just tie around and snap around my strap. Makes sense. So I could do that too. But of course, the pegs for me is not a problem because I always carry extra tent pegs. Okay, it's 12.45 right now, I think, because, yeah, my Fitbit is telling me to go to sleep. 12.46, that's my Fitbit icon. So, but, um, yeah, I got old Joe's computer in there. Oh, I'm going to watch me some, some, uh, YouTube. That's why I got the extension cord out here. Um, I was also thinking, uh, the, my main concern is my camera equipment. <clears throat> now, for car camping... I'll bring a whole bunch of stuff. But if if I hike in somewhere, I can't bring that stuff. Or if I'm on the boat, I can bring, you know, three and four different cameras. So for camera equipment, just for my batteries, and I'll probably carry two cameras, maybe three if you count my body cam. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a problem with stuffing it in there with me in case it gets rainy. <clears throat> My pack, I got to think about my pack. If I really, really had to, I, you know, it'd be a little cramped, but I can put my pack in there. Not a big deal. Um, but if I can't, I can always carry a trash bag with me and put my pack in a trash bag if for some reason I would have to try to stuff it out here under that or something. Um, like I said, when it's, when it's up hanging up in the air, I can always hang the pack you know so that's not a big deal 
because the more I, I'm thinking about it, the more ideas I'm getting. Also, um, let's see. Of course, it does seem a little short. It's eight foot from tip to tip. It's eight foot. You're not going to get that inside. Now, if you're hanging it, you will. It'll stretch. And it'll give you more length and a whole lot more headroom. Uh, I don't mind that at all, laying down and stuff. It's just, if I'm pinned down in a bad thunderstorm, rainy storm, you know, for three or four hours, I'm not going to be able to sit up. I'm going to have to lay down the whole time. Uh, again, not a deal breaker. It would be a perfect uh, stealth camp tent, but I don't stealth camp, so... But for those of you that do, that would be perfect for it. It's very low. And also, like I said, you get a, a lot more headroom when it's hanging in a tree, which we're going to do that in the next video. <clears throat> Monkey's going to come out, and she's going to do kind of a solo. She's going to bring the truck back here in the backyard. I'm going to hang the hammock probably over there by the shed between those two. Well, you can't really see them, but there's two trees over there. I'm going to hang the hammock. Um, also, they do make an underquilt for this. Oh, by the way, before I forget, that bottom part is supposed to be waterproof. It's kind of like a, a parachute material, but it's supposed to be waterproof. <clears throat> so that's good for when it's on the ground. But they do make an, make an underquilt for that. Same company. Also, the, every video I've seen had a different logo on the Nightcat. Had a different logo. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to have to get a hold of the company like I thought. Um, <clears throat> I think as far as improvement wise, you know, those ties, that there could be something different about them. But <clears throat> uh, like our big tent's got the Velcro that comes around there. And uh, we've had it in 45, 50 mile an hour gusts of wind, and it's it's never failed. Um, let me see what else. What else was I going to say? Anyway, <clears throat> oh, they should, you know, let you know something about, you know, in the instructions. You know, this is considered a three in one. It tells you how to use it just as a regular hammock you just flip it you don't put the, the the poles in you just set it up you flip it over and then you're laying like on the bottom of it and it tells you how to hang it but it doesn't tell you about ground you know how to do it on the ground which that was confusing me but when I seen that picture of the the that one that looked like it had straps coming out I think that's the way to go <clears throat> I think this is going to be more than one video i'll probably find more things i dislike and some more things i do like like this this here i was thinking i could probably when i unroll that cut a couple of sticks or whatever and i can tie that out for like a little porch man it's 65 degrees and it's breezy beautiful night but <clears throat> the under quilt seemed like it was a uh, pretty good pretty good under quilt and also <clears throat> looked like it was real easy to put on which you know like if I do a January camp out or late December camp out or whatever when it's getting really chilly yeah I'll need an under quilt for that thing so <clears throat> I don't know how much they cost I'll have to look it up it's not a necessity right now but also that under quilt would help when it's on the ground like this to keep things from trying to poke through because <clears throat> you can't see everything you know you, especially if you're hiking in you're not going to have a rake with you to rake everything up and look for tree stumps sometimes you find them after you set up <laughs> i know <laughs> i set up a lot of tents but so far i'm liking it um i'm liking it more so, all right, guys, I'm going to get inside of here, and I'll kick you on back on one more time when I get inside, and uh, I'll show you the light I'm going to use for tonight. 
<clears throat> like I said, there's a hook up here on this end and a hook up there on that end to call them lantern hooks, but you're not gonna put a lantern in there, but you know, a little light. <clears throat> is there room for improvement? So far, yeah, but remember, this is just my initial, you know, this is the first time I've set it up, first time I'm gonna sleep in it, so, you know, I mean, so far, you know, like the ties, that's, that's okay, but they will come untied, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Or they can, anyway, I should say. But, um, yeah. So, all right, I'll kick you guys back on one more time for, I call it a night. And then, uh, and then I'll see you guys in the morning after that. And then, like I said, when we do the, the hammock, when we do it as a hammock, you know, when I do that video, I'll give my final thoughts on the thing what I like, my likes, my dislikes, you know, and, and you can't get something perfect every time. There's always something about something that you're not gonna like. Um, <clears throat> but so far, yeah, it seems, uh, there was guys that said they had it out in the rain, they didn't show it. They showed raindrops on it, but they didn't show camping in it in the rain, but they said it didn't get wet, so that's good. Um, I may not have to waterproof that. So it's supposed to already be waterproof. So I don't know, you know, that's one of the things I'll have to camp in it on purpose in the rain to check that out. Make sure it's not leaking, it doesn't leak and all that. But yeah, so far I'm starting to like it even more. All right guys, hang tight. Okay, so like I said, I'll have a lot more room you'll see once I set it up as a hammock. I'll have a lot more room in here. Um, it it's it's not really it's not bad. Um, I brought the wrong light here. This <laughs> well, not the wrong one. I mean, this one kind of hangs down. <laughs> it should be hanging like that more. But um, focus. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I think I'm going to turn this computer on. And uh, it's right here. I got my pop in there wrapped up in that thing so that way it doesn't sweat and get the tent all wet and I'm thinking there's a leak or something. It's not raining but who, you know, I mean, it's not supposed to but maybe I'll wake up thinking, man, it must rain in the middle of the night. So, yeah, so far, I mean, I'm liking it more. There's more headroom up here than I thought. I've got some stuff up here, like my phone and cigarettes and stuff like that, so... Yeah, all right, guys. So I'm going to call it a night, watch some YouTube videos. My battery's getting low on this thing. Can't even get through one video. <laughs> but uh, these batteries are getting old, and they're not Sony batteries. They're And they're even they're smaller than Sony's. But So anyway, guys, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, so uh, last night... You know, of course, I slept in it, and very warm in there. <laughs> um, did get some cloud cover. I would have just took this rain fly off, but I did pull that out, stretched it out a little bit more, and it turned out I still had almost a, about another foot that way another foot that way there's a lot more room in there than I thought so first impressions I'm digging it I like that thing so tonight what we're going to do is we're going to hang it probably from that tree there over to that tree there and uh, we're gonna hang it and see how it does hanging. So far, yeah, I like it. Liking it a lot. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hang this up tonight. Right now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna edit it, this edit this video for you and get it and get it put up. Uh, get some of these leaves out of here.
Looks like these held up good. I was afraid that we're gonna pull out and fall down because it did get warm. <laughs> but yeah, so get this side here. So yes, what I was talking about last night. I don't know. It's got that Velcro. I may put a couple little holes in it right there. A couple grommets. And that way I can pull it out and make a porch out of it. Nice. So, so far, it's getting two thumbs up. So, like I said, we'll hang it. Like I said, this is kind of a two-parter. So we'll, we'll hang it up tonight. And then tomorrow, when I take it down, I'll give you my final thoughts on it and see and see how it is once we hang it up in the air. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, I do like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Stay tuned for part two of this, and uh, we'll put it up in the tree. <laughs> Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Go for now, guys. Bye bye. We'll see you in the next one.